I realize that while filming this, wearing a black wig cap with this wig isn't necessarily the best idea because my goth be peeking through. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Obviously, we are in a different setting. I am currently back in Tennessee. We are yo-yoing back and forth. I know you guys really, really loved, and I did too, that beautiful brick background. But that's where, like, right behind where my grandfather's bed is, so I can't use that. I could, but he watches TV out there, and he's deaf, so the TV is loud, and it would not be fun. So we're in here with some nice woodsy and a lovely little, like, woven cross that my grandmother has that I can't remove. But today I have a nice drugstore item review for you, and it is the Flower Beauty Holographic Galactic Glow Highlighter Palette. You guys absolutely know I love the original Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette from them. I highly recommend that one. I was super debating picking this one up from Ulta because Flower Beauty has recently been put on the Ulta website, but it was $16 and I just never bit the bullet. And then whilst I was out and about here in Tennessee, they had it at Walmart for $13.98. So I picked it up and decided to do a little review for you guys. So we're going to swatch these. We're going to do a live demo. I have used this multiple times. And then we'll talk about the palette on a whole. These shades do not have names. You have a silver, a gold, a pink, and kind of a lavender. We are going to start with this silver one here. These do not feel like the normal flower beauty ones. They are nowhere near as soft and creamy, but they do pack a good punch even still. This gold one right here, unfortunately, it is softer than the silver. That's not the unfortunately part. Unfortunately, it is a teensy weensy a little bit too dark for my complexion. I tried it a couple times and you could, it looked good while I was like turning and being like, hey, what's up? And then I looked straight and it was like that part of my face was indented. But mixing it with the silver does work for me. And this color specifically is the most similar to the original formula of their first highlighting palette. Next, we're going to do this purple right here. This one, once again, not horrendously smooth, but definitely not scratchy or nasty. And then the pink right here looks like... So here we have the swatches right here, although I love this color. It is, hopefully you can see, a bit patchy and a bit glittery. I do tend to mix these two together if I want to use this one. This one is the most akin to the original formula, and these two are almost like, they're a lot like the Kat Von D Alchemist palette or those Ulta duochrome highlighters I talked about in my new highlighters video. But I do think it's neat that you get kind of a variety of finishes. Just if you don't like glitter in your highlight, avoid this. It's always fun swatching highlighters and doing highlighter reviews because I'm now going to have glitter all over my hand for the rest of the day. Next, I'm going to show you guys how they look on my face. Like I said, this one is too dark, but I'm going to do this silver one here on my cheekbones. It picks very nicely on a brush. And all in all, it is a nice buildable glow. I don't think it's nearly as pigmented or as intense as the original one. And that one is kind of hard to beat just because it is such a great formula. But in all honesty, I cannot be mad at that glow. Then I'm going to take the pink one because I am doing a very pink look today. Once again, very nice. Picks up nicely on the brush. These two colors, I feel, are standouts in the palette. They're just so nice. I mean, you can see that highlighting on my nose. So all in all for the price, I cannot be mad at the glow it gives me. They are nice, very user friendly. You don't have to blend horribly too much. They don't go on patchy or anything like that. The silver shade does have glitter, but a lot of highlighters do. So sort of my final thoughts on this palette. I do love the packaging. A lot of the reviews said that they were a little disappointed when they like received it, ordering it off Ulta of the cardboard packaging, which I will admit does feel kind of flimsy. But if you think about it, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits, 
Those are cardboard. Yes, they feel a little sturdier than this, but I mean, come on guys, it's $13.98. I feel like this is definitely a pale person friendly palette, whereas the first one was a bit more inclusive. The two standout shades for me are definitely this pink and the lavender. They are so similar to the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, but with less problems. You guys know how I feel about that palette and it's not necessarily the best because I have to work really hard to make it look good. These two, you don't have to work hard at all. I would say that this palette would be worth it just for these shades because if you are interested in that like holographic duochrome ethereal glow going on, $13.98, don't get the Alchemist palette, just go for this or one of those Ulta duochrome highlighters that I talked about in that highlighter video. So I do think this one is a really good product. I would still recommend the first one, the Shimmer and Strobe one, over this one just because the consistency and the pigmentation and quality of the formula of those highlighters is phenomenal. Not that this is bad, just not as good and a little inconsistent from all four. But if you want to try out a fun and funky drugstore highlighter palette that is a little bit more extreme, go for it. Well, there we have that review. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will leave a link down below to Walmart, I think, which is where I got this, but I'll leave a link down to there. Also at Ulta for you guys if you want to buy it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for dealing with me through this whole, like, in Tennessee, in Virginia, in Tennessee, in Virginia deal. We are just making it work, making it through. There are going to be videos that aren't this background that I had filmed before I came to Tennessee, so there is going to be some switching it up there. Thank you for dealing with it and being with me through this. I love you guys, and as always, keep it real. Mwah!